Have a look at this one. This is actually quite good. I, I was close, I didn't like it. It was doing all sorts of weird things. I straight away suspected the plane wasn't very good, my plane. So now I've gone in and I'm saying, look, it's not it's not playing games with me now. Look, it's reading really well. So I'm going along and by reading what's happening, look, right now I'm just about to go on that little little you can see that it's gonna climb up. Can you see that? that it so by just basic um, interpretation of the image and what's telling me visually, look, actually I could say, look, this thing is reading well. So I'm always pushing it, um, you know, uh, testing, uh, you know, questioning the machine. That's my approach. You know, the way we grew up as engineers, you know, you got a physical ruler, you point it, and you read it, and that's it. You go home. But this guy's a bit different. You have to approach it with a different uh, mindset. So, you can see what I'm doing now. So that's right on the peak now. We're right on the peak. And I, I know that by, by reflection, at right angles, I know that this side of the this side is the lower side of the well. So I wouldn't go. I wouldn't even bother looking at this side. I'd be looking at this side straight away. This is my critical area here. Now you're going to ask me to go around the other side. Right? Down the other side? No, it's not going to like it. I can tell you now. Let's go down. I've got that in mind. 90 degrees to that, right? So I want to be making sure that I'm climbing. Uh, at 90 degrees. And you could see, look, you could, well, this is actually good. The differential between that plane and that plane, the two surface areas, is 0.093. How much more? Point, uh, now it's just jumped up. So I can go along with you. 